A few years ago, Danielle Bradbury announced her hot new model boyfriend on Instagram. His name is Bennett Jonas, and Danielle said that she was on cloud nine. But if you look for evidence of Danielle and Bennett together on social media now, you won't believe it. All their photos have been deleted, and they've also unfollowed each other. And the truth about Danielle's breakup will shock you. Danielle was interviewed by American Songwriter in 2019 after posting that black and white photo to social media. She knew exactly what photo they meant. The night that picture was taken was apparently a special moment for Danielle. She was performing at a concert in Thousand Oak, California. The guy holding her in the sweet black and white picture was at her concert, and Danielle said that this was his first time seeing her perform. He was living in Southern California at the time, and after Danielle's concert that night, Bennett asked her to be his girlfriend. In the American Songwriter article, the interviewer said Danielle was smiling like she was in love, and she just couldn't stop gushing about Bennett. Danielle said that she'd been swept off her feet. Since winning season four of The Voice, Danielle has been building her career pretty much nonstop. She signed a huge record deal with Big Machine's record in Nashville, joining some other amazing country superstars who made their fame with the label like Tim McGraw and Taylor Swift. Danielle released her self-titled debut album in 2013, and she achieved some impressive feats for such a young performer. Danielle made her Grand old Opry debut, she also toured with Brad Paisley as his opening act, and she released her second album in 2017. That album was titled, I Don't Believe We've Met. It contained plenty of heartbreak songs and a whole lot of insecurities, but Danielle said her songwriting was about to change. She said that people would be able to hear it in her music. In the future, Danielle predicted that she would definitely sound happier. Some online critics say that Danielle's career hasn't reached the level of other young country stars, and that sounds a bit petty, especially since Danielle has toured with Kane Brown, Blake Shelton, and even Blake's ex-wife Miranda Lambert. Other Nashville insiders aren't big fans of Danielle on a personal level. You won't believe what they call her. One Reddit user said that Danielle was a mean girl. These commenters stay hidden behind their avatars on Reddit, so we can't be sure if they're in the know or not. But Danielle certainly seemed to be in love with Bennett, no matter what the haters ended up saying. After she met Bennett, Danielle said that she was giving herself some me time. She also mentioned going on a road trip with Bennett. And when Danielle did eventually get back into the recording studio, she came out with some really revealing new songs. Danielle released a new song titled Never Have I Ever, and she had a lot to say about what the song meant. Danielle revealed the personal lyrics were about getting into a new relationship and how exciting it felt. Danielle admitted that meeting Bennett was a big part of the song. She also confessed some shocking things that she'd never done before. Danielle said that she'd always been shy around guys, but when she saw a picture of Bennett on Instagram, something weird happened. Danielle reached out to Bennett first by DMing him on Instagram, and she asked Bennett one crazy question, have you ever been to Nashville? Danielle admitted the question was so random. She was with her best friend Lacey Cavalier at the time, and apparently Lacey was helping Danielle figure out exactly what to say. Even with Lacey by her side, Danielle said that she waited and waited to message Bennett. And after she finally got up the nerve and sent the message, Danielle was shocked because Bennett messaged her back right away. Bennett and Danielle started talking all the time, and they eventually met in person. During interviews, Danielle said that her relationship with Bennett just worked out, and the rest was history. Danielle said that falling in love with Bennett was so unexpected. She said that she never felt so welcome and loved and supported. Danielle's super flattering comments almost made Bennett seem like he was too good to be true. In March 2020, Danielle had a shocking health scare. She told people that she woke up feeling like she had the worst hangover of her life, but she didn't even have a drop to drink the night before. It was so bad she had to lie back down and keep her room dark. Danielle didn't know what was happening, but one thing was for sure, it wasn't a normal headache. And you won't believe how long it continued. Danielle said that she got these headaches at least twice a month, and they would last for two to three days, and this went on for a year. Danielle also received some shocking news from a family member. It turns out that her grandmother, Patsy, had suffered from the same headaches when she was Danielle's age, and it confirmed to Danielle that she was experiencing migraines. But if anyone needed further proof that Bennett was a stand-up boyfriend, Danielle said Bennett was super helpful and sweet every time she got a migraine. She recalled one dreadful headache in particular. It was 4 a.m. on an October day. Danielle's migraine was so painful that it woke her up. She said that she woke Bennett up too, and you won't believe what he did. According to Danielle, Bennett brought her a bowl of oatmeal. He also grabbed Danielle a Gatorade, and he applied an ice pack to where it hurt. Bennett massaged her neck, but they weren't alone in bed. Danielle revealed that she has a registered support animal. The dog's name is Kaya, and Kaya is around five years old. When Danielle got migraines, Kaya would lay on top of her like a warm, supportive blanket. Danielle called Bennett and Kaya really, really sweet. He sure sounded caring back then. And if you're still suspicious about him, Bennett has actually been called a bona fide hero, too. In February 2017, Bennett was just an unknown model in New York City. 
He was skateboarding through Central Park with a buddy when something horrifying happened. Bennett and his friends saw a bunch of teenagers who'd fallen through the ice on the Central Park pond. Apparently, this big group had walked out on the ice to snap a selfie, but the ice wasn't strong enough to hold them and they fell through. Bennett and his friend Ethan Turnbull spotted the teens struggling and clawing at the ice to free themselves from the frigid water. And later, Bennett described the shocking moment in an Instagram post. He said that he and Ethan made a split second decision to dive in and rescue the teenagers. The way Bennett explained it sounds like an action horror movie. Bennett said that he got waist deep into the freezing water and two of the kids jumped on him in panic. Bennett said he started to get pulled under. He picked up the kids and threw them to Ethan. Then he swam out to two other boys. Bennett said that he got them to shore and kept them alive. Unfortunately, some of the teens didn't make it. But Bennett and Ethan managed to save six kids from drowning. CNN and ABC both reported on the heroic incident and the mother of one of the rescue boys called Bennett a good Samaritan on national TV. When the pandemic hit three years later, Danielle and Bennett were still in a fairly new relationship. She got asked by the media about the pros and cons of dating in lockdown, and Danielle said something unbelievable. She called it a crazy time, and apparently that wasn't a bad thing. Danielle said it was a lot better than she had expected it to be. Because she wasn't touring as much as she had before, she was able to spend more time with Bennett. It sounded pretty great the way she described it, but now it seems like Danielle and Bennett are over. We're all kind of left in the dark as to why, and we can only really find clues on the Celeb Wives of Nashville subreddit. One user said that Danielle has always been nice to her, but this user also thinks that the poor girl doesn't know her worth. According to this unknown insider, Danielle lets the guy she dates walk all over her. Some other users seem surprised about this, saying that they thought that Bennett was a good guy. And yet another dish that Danielle was way more into the relationship than he ever was. But whatever went down between Danielle and Bennett, neither of them have really said anything. So it's hard to say what really happened. But what do you guys think? What do you think about Danielle and Bennett? She's been in two back-to-back -back relationships. Do you think she needs to take a break and focus on herself for a while?